Joining me now is Frank Fugluzzi, uh, my apologies there, an MSNBC contributor and former FBI Assistant Director for Counterintelligence. So uh, I got to ask you, uh, walk us through the process, the impetus by which the FBI would feel compelled that they might need to, in, if, if, if the president's allegation is true, infiltrate a campaign. So first, uh, it's important, as you said, to say if the president's allegation is true and that key word that he keeps using or the White House keeps using is embedded, which is getting my kind of the hair on the back of my neck uh, standing up because it's highly unlikely. And, and here's why. That would be incredibly intrusive. Um, it would go against protocol and policy. It would require the highest level of approvals to actually place an operative inside the campaign. There may have been a government operative inside the campaign, but I don't think he was working for the U.S. government. He may have been working for another government. What would have been far more likely, Chuck, was a couple of approaches to perhaps either George Papadopoulos and or Carter Page to determine the veracity of earlier reporting, including reporting from the right. Australian ambassador to London, that that we have a guy talking about the Russians having emails, the Russians having Hillary Clinton's emails, and testing the veracity of that. And even, Chuck, as the FBI does in stolen property cases, stolen yeah. artwork cases, stolen data cases, trying to buy or get that, those emails back and see if they're out there. So it, 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 the more likely scenario would have been somebody Working for the work, would this be a person that would be working for the FBI or working on behalf of the FBI? You get highly the unlikely. I, yeah, yeah, highly unlikely that we're talking about a full-blown undercover agent with gun and okay. badge. But rather, what we're seeing in the reporting is references to someone who's worked for the intelligence community for years. Right? We see that happening. We see confirmation there's a human source out there. We see reporting that that high-level intel officials went to the White House and convinced even Chief of Staff Kelly that this was going to cause grave damage to reveal uh, a human intelligence source here. And then I'm really intrigued by the possibility that some of these approaches and even references from Director Chris Wray involved other ally allies may have occurred overseas. That would right. put maybe the U.K. government, maybe the Australian government, hooked up with CIA, if it's happening overseas, and FBI, all believing that there's, yeah. there's enough suspicion here to do something operationally together. That fascinates me. Uh, and the other part of this is that, is that the, the, the New York Times report indicated that outing the informant would cause problems with other investigations. So, right, so that means, that, so uh, give me a profile of the type of person that might be involved in multiple uh, investigations. Yeah, and, and again, when we, so a couple of things. We already heard the reference to a long time source, right? A reference that this person has yeah. been working for, for the government for a long time. So this is somebody who is well positioned. And then when I hear the director of the FBI and others saying this could cause grave damage, that, that puts you in the top secret category. So who are we talking about? Someone who is likely in contact with or even inside a foreign intelligence service or has access to a foreign government regularly whose life could be endangered. You don't want to give that person up. And the right. Congress members, the Congress members who say they want that person given up are looking out for their own interests and not national security interests. I have to say, the, the, the way you've described it in my antenna, I'm thinking, is this a Russian double agent? Yeah, it could very well be, and no one wants that exposed, unless, of course, they care only about their own political interests. All right. Frank uh, Fugluzzi, uh, with an explanation of all this, very important that people understand the specific facts that we know versus what we don't know. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Meet the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.